Ron and them, Ron and them, Ron and them. What's up, what's up, all my Series 6 families out there. Thank you guys to the new subscribers and also for the returning subscribers. Today is Sunday, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and also to the new fathers out there. I wanna say a special Happy Father's Day shout out to first my dad, rest in peace, Steve, my brothers, um, Steven and Bruce up in Utah. Happy Father's Day. Cody and Brandon down here in Arizona. Happy Father's Day. Um, Ray and Elbert, happy Father's Day as well. Um, <clears throat> um, you know, I just wanted to make this video real quick just to let you guys know, like, to me, like, of course, you know, it's Father's Day. I'm not trying to say it's like it's the most important thing or all that, but you no, know, for me personally, I, I stopped celebrating it after my dad passed away. My dad passed away when I was seven years old. I'm pretty young, you know, I'm about to be 25 coming up this August. And, um, you know, he passed away when me and my brothers were young. My oldest brother was only nine. My, my little brother Bruce was only five. And, you know, after that, after he passed away, you know, I never cared for Father's Day or, you know, even just, just, just anything that had to do with the father, I never cared about it, you know? I was just like, man, why? Why does this gotta happen to me and my brothers and stuff? But I know, I know God had a plan. I know He had a plan for my dad, and that's just something that you know you just don't you don't question. Well, I, I should say you do question it a lot, but it's just something that you know He He has a plan for everybody, and I I really do believe that. But you know, like I said, you know, I never really cared for Father's Day until I had my first daughter, Layula, which who we call Honey. Um, you know, Brandy, of course, you know, she was a baby and Brandy was like doing little Father's Day stuff for me and like, you know, it was cool. It was cool. I liked it. But then still then I was still kind of, oh, Father's Day is still hard for me because, because of my dad. You know, I didn't, for the majority of my life, you could say I didn't have my dad. So I was like, oh man, you know, I didn't really care for like the presents or anything. I'll be like, Brandy's like, oh, what do you want to eat? Just cook me some rice and with some kind of meat, just something simple, you know, and I... You know, I didn't really care for it then, and I, and then uh, we got pregnant with twins, and then of course, you know, the Father Day gifts started getting more and more creative. They started doing cards and all that stuff, and to even even till then, after my twins were here, I I, I never really did care for it, <clears throat> which which is sad because you know all all my kids know is just oh Happy Father's Day, you know, and here I'm sitting over here sad like. Like, mad at the world that I don't have my dad, you know? But, um, you know, but then, you know, slowly I started to realize, you know, I need to stop feeling that way. I need to stop feeling, yeah, you know, I, you know, I, I, am, I am sad every day that my dad is gone, but I need to start. Hmm. As the years went on, you know, we had, we just had a layer last year and you know they gave me they gave me like like the best best gift ever last year and you know I, I get choked up and teary eyed thinking about it because you know it was, it was very simple very simple thing that Brandon did but no <clears throat> shoot I'm sorry um, it, it meant a lot to me it meant a lot to me and you know actually I think she actually still has the clip so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll put that clip in lot to me and after that gift I noticed that you know I need to stop being so way down about that my dad's not here you know he is here but just not physically and 
You know, I just gotta try to make it special for my kids so they can have memories of Father's Day for what they did with me or what we did. This year, I can finally say that I'm happy for Father's Day. To me, I, I told Brandy, you know, I was like, Father's Day isn't just one day for me. Now, like I said, you know, it's every day for me. We wake up healthy, our kids are healthy, we wake up in the house, bills are paid. None of us got sick through the whole COVID-19 and all that, so the whole purpose of this was like, you know, I'm starting to realize, you know, I need to start living more for my kids and like letting them know like, yeah, you know, your grandpa is passed away, but I need to stop being so like tied down to it that like, you know, my dad's been gone for so long now. It's like, I just need to start looking forward to my kids. Like, you know, Holly, you need to brush it off and like, yeah, you know, your dad's gone. It's sad and it sucks, it sucks a lot. But you know, what, what, what could you do? All you could do is just keep going forward for your family. And that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And you know, Brandy's really good too with um, showing the kids pictures of my dad's cousins from them from Utah, from my cousins out in Chuuk, all that. You know, Brandy's really good at that, trying to, you know, like, you know, she's really trying to keep me close to my dad's side of the family. She really pushes me to try to talk to them, even if it's like somebody I haven't talked to like before that lives in Chuuk and never mentioned, but of course for Facebook friends, she'll, oh, talk to them. You know, which is really cool. And cause like, you know, Brandy's like, she's way more interested into the Chuuky side. I grew up with it and I was like, oh yeah, you know, now I'm here in Arizona, Brandy, you know, she's all for it you know she, she you know hopefully one of these days we could go back to Chuuk you know go go see where my dad is buried at and all that which you know that's a plan and it's gonna be coming up soon but <clears throat> yeah all in all though like I said um, Father's Day was a hard subject for me but now I'm barely getting the strength to get over it and I'm trying to celebrate it to the best that I can so my kids can have good memories and that we could build up our memories on Father's Day if you haven't talked to your dad for a while you don't call him or nothing like that. Throw him a text at least. If he texts or if he calls, you know, just just let them know. Any any parent, mom or dad, you know, coming from me, having just one parent, you know, take take care of them. Tell them that you love them. Get to know them. Know their know their um, their stories, their childhood, how they grew up, you know. So. Yeah, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for all the support, all the all the comments, all the feedback. Thank you for the people who've been buying the teriyaki trays here in Winslow. Thank you to everybody who's bought merch from us. You know, it's a good thing. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is what they were doing in the room. Oh, what's that, baby? Oh, look, the best. Homemade Father Day greeting cards. Look at Elias. Then who's this? Oh, Mahana. I love you. You are my favorite. Thanks, baby. This one is from King. drew a picture of me and him. Garden. Yeah. Oh, and this is the garden. We actually did the garden last night. So he drew a picture of the garden. And this one is from Honey. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. You are the best dad. You are the great daddy to me. Love, Honey. She has a picture of us and mom with us too. Yeah, so like I, all in all, like I said, guys, you know, um, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Hope you guys have a good one. Um, um, yeah, just take care of everybody.